What a lioness is capable of doing to protect her cubs, the wild instinct combined with a brutal pursuit resulted in a feline willing to do anything for her offspring to stay alive. A documentary lasting over an hour produced by National Geographic was titled The Last Lions and showcased the true strength of the jungle. But what made this documentary the most awarded to this day? What it depicts is truly remarkable. Today, we'll delve into the dramatic tale of the final lions of the Akavango. If you enjoy stories like this, be sure to like this video, which is truly exceptional. Also, subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and let's get started. Botswana, in the region of the Akavango River, Africa. Between the years 2009 and 2011, the story of Mahdi Tao was documented. She was a lioness who challenged the scientific information we have about the behavior of these large felines. She caught the attention of filmmakers and shed light on a filming project. The documentary was titled The Last Lions because, in addition to the story it presented, it drew attention to the declining lion population over the past 50 years. Filmmakers and director Derek Joubert from National Geographic began filming with the intention of showing how lions are being decimated in the region. However, they encountered a real event that showed how life in the jungle is truly an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. If you have a weak heart, brace yourself for tears. In the Akavango River region, there were two prides of lions coexisting peacefully. They had been pushed out of their birth region due to human expansion in the area. But tough times were approaching. After all, the desire for territorial dominance that male lions possess runs deep in their veins. With legal and illegal hunting in the region, food for these large felines was fiercely contested between the two lion families. That's when one of the dominant males decided it was time to increase his offspring and claim the food solely for his pride. A war was then waged, and the dominant lion of the other pride was dethroned. Now, there remained a lioness with her three cubs and a new pride with seemingly strong lionesses led by a blind lioness named Silver Eye. The widowed lioness understood perfectly what would come next to preserve her life. She needed to submit to the new leader, but she would see her three cubs eliminated. Something stirred within this lioness, and she began to forge a completely new path in the world of lions. Mahdi Tao, meaning the mother of lions, was immortalized with this name. Mahdi Tao fled with her cubs, refusing to submit to a new leader. But her journey from there would become even more bitter. The only place where Mahdi Tao would have a chance to survive was on Delta Island in the Akavango, a small island located in the center of the Akavango River where Buffalo lived. There, she would find food and could establish herself. If she stayed near the river, the lioness Silver Eye and her male leader would execute her cubs. If she ventured into human lands, humans would sacrifice them. The island was her only option. But lions dislike water. They know the dangers that African rivers represent. However, there was no other possibility for Mahdi Tao. She had to cross the river and cling to the only chance for life or wait for the end. Mahdi Tao made the most challenging choice, to enter the river and swim to the island with her three cubs. As expected, the journey held its dangers, and one of her cubs was attacked by crocodiles. Mahdi Tao tried to intervene, but her efforts were in vain. The crocodile disappeared into the depths of the river with one of her cubs, and the lioness, who was once a mother of three, now had to endure the pain of losing one of them. She realized that if she didn't finish crossing the river quickly, the other two cubs would also be caught. At that moment, Mahdi Tao set aside her grief and urged her remaining cubs to keep swimming without looking back. She knew that many challenges still lay ahead, but she allowed herself one day of rest after her painful loss, with two cubs under her protection. Mahdi Tao needed to protect her cubs, and for that, she needed food to produce milk for them. The next day, everyone was hungry, and Mahdi Tao would have to hunt alone. The island's buffalo inhabitants were large, and she would need to avoid their horns because she knew that if she were seriously injured, her cubs would not survive alone. In her sights were the smaller buffalo, easier to bring down. Mahdi Tao emerged wounded, but with food for her family. The lionesses led by Silver I followed Mahdi Tao along the river and attempted to attack her and her cubs while the male awaited them on the shore. Mahdi Tao managed to escape and hide her cubs in a shelter among the rocks. The next day, the lioness gang was surprised by a herd of buffalo, and they had to flee. However, 
The escape led them to Ma Ditao's nearby shelter. Silver Eye attacked the cubs without hesitation, but Ma Ditao chased her and her gang away. Ma Ditao was now a lioness who no longer shied away from danger. On the contrary, she ventured even into the rivers to hunt buffalo. Often, after hunting, Ma Ditao would lose part of her kill to hyenas because, being alone, she couldn't take on a clan of scavengers. After a few days, the lioness managed to make a good kill during the early hours of dawn. As she was about to take the prey to her cubs, she panicked because she couldn't find either of them. When the cubs were left alone, they would roam around the area where they had settled. That morning, the lioness couldn't find either of her offspring. Nearly an hour later, she found the female, very scared but alive. However, the little male had left no traces. In addition to worrying about the missing cub, hyenas had been following the lioness and noticed her weakness, her daughter. Ma Di Tao defended her cub, but she was alone against many hyenas, and one of them injured the cub's spine. The lioness managed to remove her daughter in time from the worst, but the little female lion would likely never walk again. Bitterness filled Ma Di Tao's heart, and she understood that a wounded predator is a dead predator. She withdrew, leaving her cub to succumb to the jungle's force. Ma Di Tao is no longer the mother of lions as her name suggests, for her legacy has been left to death. She is now a solitary lioness suffocated by failure, but still insists on continuing her path. The solitary lioness indeed seems to be suffering from grief and failure, and to drown out her emotions, she goes hunting. But this time, she doesn't aim for the smallest buffalo but the largest of them. It's as if she wants to end her life of despair. The buffalo managed to escape, but the pain of the solitary lioness was still present. The lioness gang returned and attacked Ma Di Tao, who didn't retreat and face the danger because now she has nothing left to lose. And something completely changed the scenario. Ma Di Tao won the confrontation with Silver Eye, the leader, and now the new dominant leader is Ma Di Tao. Led by Ma Di Tao, they hunt along the river and amidst a buffalo herd. A sound catches Ma Di Tao's attention. Her male cub was alive. Her maternal instinct immediately turns to protecting him, and all the lionesses decide to help Ma Di Tao protect her cub. Together, they advance and separate the buffalo herd and they even manage to catch a good feast. The cub witnesses everything and learns that hunting is what lions do best. The lionesses seem to be unified, and together they will protect the young male who may one day become king among them. If you want more details, the documentary is available on YouTube. Leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.